What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you another money method that I've been using on Red Dead Online. I did start using this like a month ago and then I just got distracted, went on to other methods and I just completely forgot about it. But today I'm going to show you because this method is slowly coming back for me because of the, how the animals just don't go for anything. You can go and get cougars, you can go and get bears, you can go and, go, go and get birds. They do not go for as much as what they once did. So it's kind of pointless. Fishes they still go for the exact same amount. There's no change in the price for fish. You can't do carcass fishing, but that is besides the point. The first thing you want to do is come to Valentine's and make sure you have all the stuff that you need. I actually just got griefed by this little freaking dick here, um, but make sure you have everything that you need. So go into the general store and go and get the fishing rod, go and get all the bait that you need. I have got worms, crickets, and I also have all the lures as well, but make sure you have the lures. And then what you want to go and do is go into your map and then head all the way up to the PT reservation. Right down here, you don't really go there that much in online because there's no need to go up there, but on single player, you definitely do go up there a lot for quite a few stories. I won't spoil that for you, but you do go up there a lot in story mode and people seem to forget about it on online. So today, that is where we're gonna be heading. Okay, so we are now at the location that we need to be in and you can go in two, one of two different places. The first one is down here or the second one is literally just across there and as you can see, we've just arrived and already fish are spawning in. So all you need to do is go and get your fishing rod and I think as soon as I get this fishing rod out, more fish spawn in, which is very nice. There are a lot of fish in this area. I have 20 worms and all you're gonna do is just a bit of fishing. That started to glitch out a bit there with light and do not know what that's about, but you need to go and get your fishing rod and go and chuck it all the way over there. It might be a bit better to actually go on the other side uh, because it's a bit closer, but look how many fish there are there. There are so many, so many fishes. And the fish that you're gonna get from this are lake sturgeons and also perches. And the lake sturgeons, you can only pick up one uh, and put that on the back of your horse unless you go and get another horse. Uh, but the perches, you can go and get 10 or you can go and get 20 if you go and start damaging the other fish, if that makes sense. So you can get 10 perfect and then uh, 10 maybe good by shooting them and then 10 poor. So you can actually go and get 30. The first one we get is not a perch. I think, that was this a pickerel? Uh, this is chain pickerel. Uh, those I think go for either a dollar or 75 cents, but we're looking to go and get those perches. I do not know. Oh, I need to go and put another worm on. Um, but that did not take too long to go and get. Uh, I do not know what other fish are in here. Normally, I only get perch. Never really get a pickerel, but there are so many, so many there. Uh, actually, can I? I mean, look, look what you have here. Look at uh, this, this place right here is a very good place to fish but like you do not see hardly anyone going up here and to be honest you don't really see people fishing that much normally and i think i put this fishing lure in just a complete wrong place let's go and get this one here nice see see how quick that did did you see how quick i did that dude is this big big fish big fish big this may take some time to go and bring in because i am terrible at bringing in the big fish i just am i'm so bad it takes me so long okay i think we're getting close are we gonna get this one? It may just swim away just last second. Please get this one. No, no, freaking come in, nice. Okay, there we go. There is a big fish, a nice, I think that we got a lake sturgeon here, which is very nice. That will go for like a $7, I think it is. That's probably the quickest I've reeled one in as well. It's actually a musky as well. So I got that wrong, so sorry for saying Lake Sturgeon. Don't know why I was saying Lake Sturgeon. I knew it was musky, but I kept on saying Lake Sturgeon because I'm an absolute idiot. But musky, nice to go and on the back of my horse there. I forget how much they go for. I didn't really want to go and get that one just this second. I'm still going to look for the small fish, which are the perch, because they can go for $10, and we have quite a few here. What I'm actually going to do with this one, and this does happen whilst uh, whilst using this, uh, doing this method, is that you can then go and get your varmint rifle, and I think I've taken too long to go and get do it, but you can go round these fish, and then what you want to do is start shooting in the water. But I think I actually scared them off. So I can't do it with that one. But what you can do is sort of loop around the fish. If they get real close in like they once were where they were just here. If you go and loop around without scaring them, shoot right behind them. It will force the fish to beach themselves on this area right here. So you can do that as well. I sort of missed my opportunity there. Uh, but we are going to carry on. I want to go and get some... Okay, there's a lot of big fish around there. 
We're going to go for these ones over here and hope that these are the perches that I'm going for. Okay, we have got a rock bass and rock bass go for, I think, a dollar or two dollars. I can't remember. I think it's actually a large mouth bass that goes for two dollars. Rock bass still goes for, I think, one dollar. So that's pretty decent as well. There are a lot more fish in here than I originally thought. I thought it was just mainly uh, muskies and also uh, perch, but nope. A lot more than I originally thought, so that ended up being a lot better. So you can carry on fishing, and normally it doesn't take too long to go and get a fish on the line as one just swam right by mine. Uh, it normally takes like 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds max if uh, if you throw it in the right place. I did not throw it in the right place, so therefore I am not getting it. But normally uh, you can do really well with this. Hopefully this one... Oh, I did not want this area actually because... That's where all the big fish are, and I cannot get another one on the back of my horse. Realistically, you can probably go and bring uh, two horses to this location. Two horses, one you uh, is your horse, the other one is the horse that you just steal from some random stranger, and then uh, you can come to this location and... Uh, yeah, you have two horses. You ride the stranger's horse to this location, put one fish on the back of that one and one fish on the back of yours and you are good to go. And there we go. There's the perch that we've been looking for. That itself is $1. That is the, uh, the fish that I thought mainly spawned in this area, making you very good money, which is a dollar per fish. And you can get a fish, say, every 20 seconds, like I was saying, max every 20 seconds. One thing I do keep on forgetting to do is after I've reeled a fish in, is that I forget to go and put another worm on my line, which is very, very irritating, but hey, it's just something I gotta get used to. Okay, so I've been fishing for like the last couple of minutes now. It's been like five, maybe 10 minutes, and I've got myself quite a few fish. I've managed to use all my worms, and I've got two muskies, but the reason I'm stopping is because I need a second horse, because I have two muskies, but as you can see, there's still a lot of fish over there. We are now gonna go and rob this guy, take this guy's horse. Unfortunately, mate, I'm going to have to kill you. I'm going to have to kill you. I'm sorry. It had to be done. The reason, because we have two muskies. So, realistically, if uh, if you are going to come to this area, what you want to do is go and get a horse before you come over to here. Uh, and all you're going to go and do is use that second horse to go and just get another fish. So, a muskie, I forget how much they're going for. I know Lake Sturgeon's going for like $7. I haven't sold a muskie in quite a while. Like, well, you better not leave me, horse, okay? You got my you got my fish on your back now. So, we're going to go and put this on the back, and I'm now going to go and head off because I'm scared this horse is going to go and despawn. But with this, all you need to do is go and whistle your horse, and then you will have your horse following you closely behind. So, you can have two horses. Unfortunately, I really wish you can buy two horses and have two horses outside roaming at the same time. I actually have got two horses, um, but unfortunately that is not a thing currently in Red Dead Online. Hopefully in the future you can actually do that though, where you can have both your horses out, you can whistle them, maybe hold down the whistle button and you can pick which horse you want to come towards you. If not, both horses would be pretty sick. But we are now going to go head all the way back to Valentine and this is the only bad bit about this method, is because the distance between the reservation and all the way to Valentine is quite some distance. Why? I don't know why there's just some animal skin there. I'm surprised that hasn't despawned. Um, but on the way, as always, there is a chance you can have a four, uh, sorry, a um, a gang hideout here. And I think there might be an ambush as well on the route back as well. But I don't think we're going to get it this time as when we was coming this way, we did have a gang hideout. But anyway, I'll be back once we go and get back to the butchers. Okay, so we are just got back into it and already we have been griefed. I, honestly, it, it's become a completely unreal with uh, with Red Dead Online right now where, uh, where people are just constantly griefing. Like... I used to be able to go into Valentine or anywhere and uh, go and do my thing, but now you cannot do that. Unfortunately, we look, he's still after me as well. Like, come on, dude. Come on. It's absolutely unreal, but uh, we have lost our other horse, but that's not to worry because we still have this horse, so we can still make some money back. But, in fact, thank you, mate, because you also made it easier for me to complete a challenge. But uh, we, were, we were just roaming. We were just roaming. I saw this guy ahead of me. I slowed down to let him go just so I didn't make him paranoid, and he instantly just turned around to me and started shooting me. And, as you saw, he tried getting me again. But, honestly, man, griefing, like, ah. It's become even worse. It never used to bother me, but now it is starting to bother me. Unfortunately, 
A musky as well, that's $7. So we just lost a horse with a musky on it that could have went for another $7. So we could have made $15 out of muskies. But uh, out of five, 10 minutes of just fishing in this area, we are not doing too bad. Perch goes for $1 each, which is pretty decent. We got four of them. Rock bass, we only got two of them. I thought I had a few more of them, unfortunately. Nope, turns out not. Uh, we have a chain pickerel, which is going for a dollar as well. So all fishes in this area are going for, actually, I was going to say all going for at least one dollar. Bluegill, always forget, they go for 75 cents. Those are the cheapest fish. But everything else that you get in that area goes for uh, at least one dollar, which is pretty decent. And if I didn't pick up that other muskie and then try and get that other horse, which I did eventually get, I probably would have spent maybe another extra five or ten minutes in that area where I would be using crickets to go and get more fish. But uh, if we managed to have that horse and then come back here, we could have got an extra $7, put me to 2100 That is the method that I'm using currently on Red Dead Online. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.